Hello and welcome to the Monday, June 22nd, 2020 edition of the Sands Internet Storm Center's Stormy Hast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Let's start out with some diaries from this weekend. First of all, Remco wrote about Sigma rules. Sigma is a language that allows you to describe rules for sims, but it does so in a vendor agnostic format. It's a simple YAML form, and uh, then you can convert, uh, compile as they call it, uh, these rules into the particular sim that you are using. Uh, simple things an open source like for example Elasticsearch uh, but you can also for example use Azure Sentinel and Azure Log Analytics, Sumo Logics, ArcSight and other commercial sims can be used with Sigma rules. So it's a Real easy way to exchange uh, different detection techniques in an open format. And yes, there is a large repository of these rules available. And when I announced the workshop that we'll have on Tuesday, the Sans Tech Tuesday, where we are going to talk about installing the D Shield Honeypot, well, what I sort of recommend that you bring is a Raspberry Pi 3 or an Ubuntu virtual machine. But Tom took a look to see if it also works using the Pi Zero, which is sort of the smallest and cheapest of the Raspberry Pi family. And indeed, it works just fine. So certainly something to consider. Now he used uh, USB wired Ethernet adapters. I highly recommend that. Uh, wired usually works uh, quite a bit better than wireless, in particular for a honeypot where you're sort of waiting for unsolicited incoming connections. Now, if you're infected with any kind of malware, be it some backdoor, keystroke logger, or more recently, ransomware, one of the dangerous things to do is to just remove the malware and hope everything is fine. Bleeping Computer has a good warning that in recent ransomware cases, the ransomware operator kept hanging around in the network even after the ransomware had been deployed and caused its damage. Now, for a small home computer network, uh, usually the best advice is just rebuild your systems from scratch. I hope you all have good backups, but also be careful what backups you are restoring, that you're not just reinstalling the ransomware. For larger corporate and enterprise networks, of course, it can't be that easy to figure out how far the infection spread, and that's really where instant response comes in, that's where you need to call in the experts to help you figure out what damage the attacker exactly did. The other thing to be aware of if you are infected with ransomware, it is often a fairly simple entrance uh, door that they picked an open RDP server or something like that. So always uh, keep an eye out for any other attackers that may have found the same entrance but just haven't gotten around to actually deploy their malware. I have just been taking advantage of the smoke screen the ransomware put up to exfiltrate your data. And online chat software Discord remains a favorite for attackers like a lot of modern software these days. It's written in JavaScript, which makes it relatively easy once an attacker has access to a system to modify the code for the Discord client. And that's again what's happening here. Now, once you are affected by this particular malware, it it will inject a code into the Discord client that will send your Discord authentication tokens to a special Discord channel that's operated by the attackers. Now, in further taking advantage of the Discord ecosystem, uh, this malware is also distributed uh, within Discord via direct messages. And of course, once they have more authentication tokens, they're able to impersonate more users and make these direct messages more plausible. 
If you are affected by this Discord malware or some variant of it, uh, well, your best bet is just to uninstall Discord and reinstall it from a valid source. Well, and that's it for today. Thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. And remember, tomorrow at 1 p.m., we also have our Tech Tuesday workshop about using the Internet Storm Center's data as well as installing our honeypot. Thanks and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.